today we're doing my November YA Chronicles unboxing for 2016. If you don't know what the YA Chronicles is, it's an Australian book and bookish subscription box. So basically you get one book and two to five items related to the theme for the box. In terms of costing for an Australian, it's about $40 for just the one box, but that includes the shipping. For those of you that are outside of Australia that are perhaps looking for a different bookish box to try, you'd be looking at $29.99 Australian plus $24.99 for shipping internationally. The theme for this particular box was Welcome to Wonderland. They always choose a diverse range of books and they always include a reasonably diverse range of items as well. It's not always just a bookmark. So let's open it up and have a look inside. And this is what is inside the box. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a very red color. Oh, Wonderland! Oh my god, I'm so slow! So slow! Oh my god! <laughs> Why did I think of that? Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. Red. Queen of Hearts. It's gonna be something to do with that. This is the bookmark. So we'll get the book out. I've seen one of the items. It is related to Queen of Hearts. And I should have expected this one. So we have the book is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. She wrote The Lunar Chronicles, which I haven't read, but are on my TBR list. Catherine may be one of the most desired girls in Wonderland and a favorite of the unmarried king, but her interests lie elsewhere. A talented baker, she wants to open a shop and create delectable pastries. At a royal ball where Kath is expected to receive the king's marriage proposal, she meets handsome and mysterious Jeff. At the risk of offending the king, if you're reading your parents, she and Jess enter into a secret courtship. Kath is determined to choose her own destiny, but in a land thriving with magic, madness and monsters, fate has other plans. Ah, so this is kind of set before she becomes the Queen of Hearts. Because it says here, long before she was the terror of Wonderland, the infamous Queen of Hearts, she was just a girl who wanted to fall in love. So, uh, I'm not expecting a happy ending because it's depressing and it's not going to be a happy ending because we know, obviously, with the way she turned out, there was not a happy ending. Yeah, so the good then becoming the bad. This is cool! I'm liking the idea! Let's move on to the goodies. We have... Oh, yes! I love, sorry I get really excited, I love these little mini magnet bookmarks, they're just beautiful and I want to have like a row of them behind me one day by Read and Wonder. They're very, very cute. Look how cute they are. Liking that. Um, oh, we have another big ass poster. I love these posters, they're great. Oh, awesome! I don't know how it became one of my favorite kind of things at the moment to read, but I'm really liking retellings of, you know, famous stories. Obviously, we've got the Queen of Hearts. I've not long finished reading Wrath and the Dawn, and that's like a retelling of um, the Arabian Nights kind of thing. And I actually watched the Hallmark movie Arabian Nights recently, and that was freaking amazing as well. So I'm really liking the whole retellings thing. It's, it's great. They've created a poster for you on what kind of retellings you might want to read. We've got fairy tales, literature, historical retellings, diverse retellings, and love are always YA retellings. Hopefully you can have a look at these. Um, if you can't see this very well, I imagine they would have a copy of this on their website. But what we've got next is a tea thing that you put into your drink in the shape of a love heart, which is pretty cool. But then we've got tea that obviously goes in it. And this was made by the West End Tea Co. It is blend number 13, red vanilla. Yeah, so you get a little canister of tea from the West End Tea Co. And a little spoon thing that you put the tea in and then you put it into your drink and you squish it around and that's how you get your tea. But yeah, they're pretty good items. Like if you're into teas, let's check out the information on the card though. First item was the wonderful bookmarks from Read and Wonder Store on Etsy. Previously they were the Sticker Alley. That's why they look so familiar. Right, so they changed their name. They're Read and Wonder now. I'll link them down below. No Man Had a Party is complete without the next item. Tea. My god, why am I so slow? I did not get that at all. Steep a cup of vanilla Robios loose leaf tea 
From the West End tea comb, bask in the taste and aroma as you breathe. It's sweet and spicy with mildly nutty finish and smooth vanilla bean. We provide a heart-shaped tea infuser spoon. See, it's tea talk is so fancy. And then of course the poster. This is a pretty good box. I mean, I still like the items. It's just I can't use all of the items. So if you're interested in checking this box out, the link is down below. Other than that, that's the end of the video. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if it takes your fancy. Otherwise, until next time, you guys take care of yourself and Cooper out.